Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an update of RPCS3, which is the PlayStation 3 emulator running on the Mac operating system. So if you haven't already installed RPCS3, you can follow my video tutorial, which I'll leave a link to in the description, which is going to take you step by step on how to install this PlayStation 3 emulator and get it working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac or any modern Mac operating system. So here we have an alpha version of RPCS3, and this is the 3D0196F7 version, and today we're just gonna be doing an update of this. So currently on RPCS3 for the Mac operating system, there isn't an automatic updater, so we can't use the help and check for updates button. It says here that the updater is not available for our operating system. Now the solution to this is basically what we need to do is we need to shut down RPCS3 and quit completely. So here we're gonna press RPCS3 and press quit. And then we're going to go ahead and download the latest version of RPCS3. So at the time of recording, the current builds of RPCS3 are held on the cirrus-ci.com website. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And this is going to be a list of all of the current builds of RPCS3. So this includes builds which are created not just for the macOS operating system, but also for Windows and Linux. However, each time fixes are merged together, then they're going to be hosted here as well. So at the time of recording, the very latest build is this one at the very top. So I'm gonna click on this one now just to reveal what it is. And what you'll find is that these are gonna be untested builds. So just be very careful about which ones you use because although they might contain the latest fixes, they might have broken some other aspect of the emulator. So anyway, once we get to this list, we're gonna go and scroll down to this last link here, which is the Cirrus macOS link. And here I'm gonna click on this and then we're gonna do a download. What this describes is basically the last fix that was applied and merged together. And what we want to get out of this is the artifact Effect. So the artifact is basically the build that's been generated from that latest fix. So here we're going to click on here and then click on the artifacts folder and then we're going to find the DMG file here. So we're going to click on this now and it's going to download the DMG. So here we're going to click on here and now we have the option of moving RPCS3 into the applications folder. So this process is basically going to update RPCS3 for us. We shouldn't lose any data because all of that data is held within the application support folder and not within the application itself. So here what we're gonna do is just drag it into applications folder. We're gonna replace our current version of RPCS3. Now we're gonna double click on RPCS3 and if we have an error, we're just going to control click on RPCS3 and press open. Here we'll press open again. Here it's warning us that this is not an official RPCS3 release, we'll press yes. And now we're on the D19776CE alpha. So this version has been updated completely. And as you can see, it's picked up my entire game library. So none of that's gone. And also my configuration settings are all exactly the same as they were before. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other emulation tutorials for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac on my channel. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.